It, you, you can get knocked out pretty early. I think Mutace got knocked out round one, actually. That's going to be a dag for me. <laughs> but obviously, uh, these guys have made it through several rounds. Yeah. Uh, definitely proving themselves at least <laughs> competent enough in doubles to, to match up with uh, so several random people. I'm not surprised at all to see uh, see Ponda Bear, or dang, I say Ponda Bear, Panda Bear, Panda Bear. <laughs> Man, sorry, too too many Heartland events. <laughs> yeah. But uh, to see uh, Panda Bear this far in bracket, right? Uh, Villager just being such a strong doubles character. And he's really one of those guys that it doesn't matter too much if you don't have. Yeah, I don't know why they weren't sitting next to the correct teammate. Because I'm just sitting there like Villager and Fox aren't the same color. Why are they sitting next to each other? Well. But, uh, <laughs> Well, they, they didn't know yet because they had to they had to randomize. Oh, the team okay, first. okay, yeah. okay. I thought they had already, you know, nah. knew who they were, like when they were sitting down. I was like, well, this yeah, it, it was funny because they set it up and then yeah. they, they hit the random button three times and then it ended up in the same teams that they set up on. So, <laughs> anyway. well, I think when you click the buttons, it uh, it, uh, it does like the same pattern. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure how it works. Because because we tried the random button at home because we're just like, you know what? Uh, we're not doing these teams. This is broken. All right. Well, yeah, we got Snoofle and Goblin on a team here. Uh, Roy and Fox, they're definitely playing their mains here, so oh, yeah. taking got it seriously. We got and the Pan Fox and the Roy aggression here. Yeah. Oof. I think uh, I think the blue team is gonna be very interesting, just because I feel like their two characters are gonna kind of sit back, yeah, and uh, try and do their own thing instead of working with Ooh! instead of working with each other uh, to get combos, which we might see uh, out of Fox and Roy. Two characters that are definitely gonna be uh, up in your face, very aggressive, and you know, these guys they're over here camping. <laughs> they picked up an RV. Yeah, once they got that space, like it kind of it was kind of a scrap to begin with, because Snoople and Goblin obviously rushing them down. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Panda Bear made that great play and was able to give uh, his team some space here to work with. I think uh, Villager, like ever since Smash 4, has just been a really versatile uh, doubles character. Yeah. So I think he's going to be able to do a lot here. Good punish. Uh, seeing that uh, he grabbed his teammate, was able to get a fair. Panda Bear losing his first stock. Yeah. Ooh, going off stage. Gonna, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're trying to catch Goblin, man. They're like, you know what? You're an issue. Ooh. Snoofle's looking like the liability right now, man. Fox definitely a very abusable character off stage. Yeah, but meanwhile, Goblin's holding on to this stock here, doing a lot of damage with that dancing. Woo! Woo, the save! All right. Goblin's able to save his teammate, but he's going to die himself. Oh, just barely off the mark. But wow, I cannot believe that that uh, bowling ball was able to miss. Snoofle doing a great job recovering really close to the ledge. Oh, yeah, after losing that first stock very early, uh, limit to 147 damage right now, which is something to brag about when you're playing as Fox. Ooh, Bottom the five shield character break. when it comes to weight. Okay, Ooh, nice okay. save there from Goblin. Just able to kind of push uh, the coward away. Ooh, very nice stuff here. Snoofle just making the most out of the second stock here, man. Yeah, still hanging on there. 166. Oof. <laughs> Nobody was, <Yeah. laughs> Nobody was, was anywhere like, you know that. what, we're going to get out of the way of that. Right now, some people just maneuvering uh, through all these hitboxes. Finally going to get snuffed out, I believe, by the villager Nair. Yeah, yeah, that Nair finally eventually killing. Oof. Meanwhile, like, Goblin's been able to rack on a ton of percent on uh, both members of the blue team. And just like that, the, the running F-tilt is going to finish that off. Oh, wait, wow. where'd Snoople go? Bro, he's dead. Actually, where did he go? Hey, people die every day, B. <laughs> really <be like> that. <laughs> Don't get attached to anybody, man. Attack. Snoofle. Uh, he just lost stocks ridiculously early. I mean, it's, yeah, it's understandable with the teams that he's going against. These guys definitely have some kill power. We saw in that first Yeah, very, very explosive kill power. And, oh. like, Yellow Team was doing so, such a good job. Wow, okay. Got stuck in the jab, uh, Goblin did, and he ended up getting hit by the, the Void Rocket. That was enough to finish him off. And this is not where you want to be. Yeah. You got two characters who can just like charge up kill options. Ooh, okay, just runs yeah. off, catch the shine. Yeah. Yep, and that's uh, that's gonna be a win for Yellow Team for game that's one. That's a done data. Or uh, win for Blue Team rather. Win. All right, so Villager Robin Team, uh, really working there. I was, I was, um, I was kind of worried for their team there. Yeah. Because yeah. they were both characters that aren't very aggressive. They both kind of want to sit back so they can set up their things. Yeah, meanwhile, before they got, go in and attack. And you got Fox and Roy, like that rushdown yeah. style. But I think, like, it may have been, like, a little bit to their detriment because, like, they can only rush down. Once yeah. they get pushed out, like, it can be difficult for them to get back in if they get pushed out too far. Well, what it, what it was in that first game is, is Snoofle just died at ridiculously early percent, which yeah. is going to happen sometimes 
when you're Fox uh, going against characters that have such destructive kill power, especially such as uh, villagers, too. yeah, villagers bowling ball, uh, Robin's Levin sword. You know, those aerial smash attacks are definitely uh, going to be devastating. But if Snoople is able to avoid getting hit by those very strong attacks, I think they could take this game number two. Sometimes it, it can just take a minute, too, to uh, jive with your partner. Uh, I think, like, as Ooh. the bracket moves on, that's going to be less and less of an issue, but still something to consider. All right, so for uh, for game number two, uh, I'm hoping the stages aren't also random, are they? Uh, I don't think so. No, okay. I definitely saw them counterpicking earlier. So uh, as, as we talked about Fox maybe having some issues making it back to the stage and that villager bowling ball, I can definitely see the villager bowling ball being a factor in this game because Kalos has that wall right there. You're not yeah. able to ride under the ledge to avoid it. You're going to have to come straight up. Ooh, the save there from, uh, from Panda Bear. Really that good was stuff. Crazy. He was in perfect position for it. All right, Lloyd Rocket. And like, that's just goes to show like the versatility of Miller as a character in doubles. Yeah. Like he can just be as long as he's positioned right, he can like play any role. Ooh. <laughs> yeah that man, Robin's projectile is also really good in doubles just because they take up so much space. So much space, yeah. And uh I mean not even uh just Robin able to combo off of him but teammate can too. Ooh nice coming out for Panda Bear. Gonna catch the uh unsafe recovery. Down smash to the forward smash there. Reminiscent of Game & Watch. Man. Shout out to grounding moves in this game. Right? Like, I, I, that's one thing that I, I really questioned, like, what they were thinking like when they made the change. Because, uh -huh. you know, in Smash 4, you know, yeah, you got grounding moves, not backs. Yeah, so you just didn't die a dumb percent. But yeah, they're more game, like setup moves. This is like, they're just basically straight up longer kill moves. Now it's just like, uh, you know what? Let's take this stock real quick. I'm gonna Ooh. pretend. I'm gonna pretend that Robin hit the Nosferatu on yeah. Panda Bear just to recover HP. Like Panda Bear, <laughs> let it happen. Yeah. Because he was already at like a really high percent. Ooh. Yeah, Panda Bear. And taking out that stock from uh, the Goblin. Ooh, that's okay. a good Nosferatu. Yeah. More health uh, recovered. That's gonna matter. Ne never mind. <laughs> it would matter yeah. for certain killers. Like, bro. Not that one. Not back here at the ledge. <laughs> Roy said you thought. <laughs> In there. He's gonna land on the Lloyd Rocket there still. All right, Panda Bear getting Goblin off of the stage. Very smart there. Put Roy off the stage. Uh, he's not the most majestic creature in there off stage, as we all know. Has some issues recovering sometimes uh, with his snap into the ledge. I, I feel like that's something that happened Ooh, to Goblin. Woo! Almost scooped both of them yeah. up there. Okay, there's the uh, fourth smash. Wow, okay. Goblin. That's a dead man. Yeah, and I think. Honda Bear gonna ride it out. He's like, I got 82%. I got an extra stock. Don't touch my stock, bro. You died. Oof. Oh, yeah. He was doing such a good job just like dancing at the ledge, uh -huh. but gotta commit to something eventually. I feel like when he was sitting at that 86%, he probably should have let uh, Robin come back in. Because I feel like this is a very big stage. Villagers, you know, gonna be able to live for it. He? <laughs> He's just doing some tricks on the yeah. ledge. Yellow team's giving them all the stage control in the world right now, but it doesn't really matter because they're waiting for him to come uh, to them. What do you really know him is like, man, if this comes to a timeout situation, we're going to win this, bro. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it'll come to that, but it's yeah. way too much time for that. I don't I don't think you respect them enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Their patience game, bro. Oh, all okay. Right, that and a bear making things happen. I think I feel like if he's able to work through like another stock here uh, without like taking too much more percent, Oh, wow. Uh, Robin may uh, come in and take the stock just to help him finish things out. Oh, Ooh, he nice. tried. Yeah, armoring through that. He's barely going to live. Oh, yay. He wanted to do that slingshot. He wanted to get Roy off of stage. Yeah, All okay. Right. Got the up smash. He's still got a whole other stock to work through, and he's going to be a lot. He's going to be just as patient as, been, as he's been so far. I mean, he's, he's nowhere near out of this yet because, I mean, Fox can get knocked off stage and gimped. Roy is at kill percent. Yeah, it'd be quite a comeback if Panda Bear could yeah. take this. I'd actually be upset. I, I, I would just give him three wins right now. All right. Oof, okay, there so. we got some damage going. I like the idea there of the Goblin just like using the, the armor on the upbeat. 
Villager's just throwing out all these hitboxes and projectiles. Forward to Villager off the stage. <laughs> it's just like, it's very meticulous. I feel like he should like try to bait the uh, reflect. Yeah. If he pockets that Void Rocket, that'd be a really, uh, really devastating tool. But it's looking pretty grim right now. All right, dude, just back to him there. Uh, that could have been one of those situations. You might could have just grabbed him, let Fox run in, up smash it, both. All okay. right, there goes Goblin. The Stand up here, making it back to his ledge there. Nah, there it is. Right. The up the. It's going to end it. Every time he tries to use that Void Rocket, that LP is just the answer. Yeah, Roy, that was a fierce battle. <laughs> you could call it that. A fierce battle, man. <laughs> All right, so that's that's 1-1. Not, not going to be a 3-0 here, despite Panda Bear's best efforts. Uh, uh, Panda Bear playing with a... Is anybody's name a coward? So I've, like, I've kind of seen the name before, but I, I don't know, really know too much backstory behind this guy. Has he been a, a Robin for, oh, was, he, was he a Smash 4 Robin? I, I feel like if you're playing Robin in this game, you probably are a Smash yeah. 4 Robin. All right, but uh, so it looks like there, the, uh, the big stage actually works. So I was worried about the walls of Kalos. Uh, you know, helping out the the blue team. Right. But it seemed like the it, immense blast zones of Kalos actually helped Snoofle not die ridiculously early like he did in the first game. So Kalos being a really good pick there. Game number three, moving along to Pokemon Stadium. Yep. All right, we've got some early scrapping going on. We've got yellow team just controlling the stage right now. Ooh, wow. Pocket that. Oof. Oh no. Oh, there's yeah. the. Okay, he's just gonna go for the uh, the forward tilt slap. Not gonna steal that forward smash quite yet. Well, I mean, like, it's like sometimes where I, like, where I really like wonder. Because if uh, the staling probably still works the same as like Smash Sport, was like what? Every like 10 moves, yeah, it so. like recycles. Yep. But I've always felt like, do you think you're gonna do nine more moves before you need a forward smash again? Right. If so, throw out that forward smash, man. Woo! Ooh, okay. Right. It doesn't really matter how yeah. moves because he's there. But he's probably like, you know what? It really doesn't matter how much damage I have because when, when I'm ready to use that four smash again, he's probably going to die. Ooh, all right. Get the there. Dash attack on. Yeah, right. So trying trying to, to, oh, okay. I like the uh, close range reflect. Again from Super Stuff in the air from a uh, panda bear getting Snoople off of the stage. Oh man, I don't know if that was a dash attack or a dash forward tilt. Either way, yeah. that's gonna be the stock from Coward. Ooh, right, wow, Snoople, Snoople building the, the, up yeah, his the, the damage. Yeah, the down to. Ooh, okay. Up there, gonna take out Snoople's stock, I and mean, we got a counter coming out from Goblin here. Yeah, gonna get punished though. Just a just a grab, but that's still some extra percent. Ooh, wow. All right, so he snatched up some percent, and then to end it off, the Void Rocket came in, tackling some more damage on the Goblin there. Panda Bear still sitting at 140 damage. As I said before, Villager, really good character in doubles. Yeah, you really have to have, like, a lot of awareness fighting a team like Villager and Robin, just because, like, there's so many there's so many things that can just be uh, being thrown at you at any given point in the stage. Yeah, then, I mean, you got to worry about Villager throwing one of Robin's things, too. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to do as much damage because they are on the same team, so that uh, that multiplier, you know, not existing there. That's all right. Piece them up real quick. All right, yeah. That, that jet, oh, man, that was the first stock from yeah. Panda Bear. He's really been hanging on on this, uh, this game three. Panda Bear's been hanging on to the stock. Oh, and he's hanging on to that ledge for too long. That's going to be a forward smash. Did not have very much invulnerability on the ledge at all. Both these guys on the yellow team have some uh, pretty exploitable recoveries, uh, as Panda Bear is showing us here. And this game number three. Oh, gosh. Oof. You know, I never really realized how good the, uh, the bowling ball on ledge is at catching, like, the invulnerability wearing out on the ledge. Just because it's so active. So, like, as soon as that goes away, even if you're, like, even if the bowling ball is, like, underneath, you can still hit you yeah. if your hitbox is big enough. Wow, that Lloyd Rocket. Getting rid of Snoople there. 
now it's all to cop point. Only one stock here. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, shout out to that hit marks, I guess. Bandabear probably want to come in. You know what? Bowling ball finish, maybe. Touches him. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> he had to that's, go right into that. That's going to be a dag for me. I think you're right with the stages, though, because, like, that bigger stage layout was so good for the yellow team. And this one, they just kind of – they didn't have yeah. the, the room to maneuver. They had to just, like – there was too much stuff for them to maneuver through, and it just didn't work out for them. So um, we'll probably see another big stage, maybe? Uh, maybe they'll allow them to go to town and city. Yeah, I can see uh, that. I can definitely see that being a good stage for, uh, for Roy and uh, Fox. I, I feel like they'll probably get hey, – yep. Who called it? Who called it? <clears throat> I'm an expert, bro. I'm upset they didn't click on House Preview, but uh, we're going to ignore that. I don't know what the song is that they're going to. House Preview is the GOAT. That that's, is the music. That's, that's smooth detective music. It's the only song I really care about in the game because Duck Hunt isn't legal, so I can't listen to Swan Lesson. Yeah. Right. Is Swan Lesson even in this game? Yes, bro, it is. <laughs> Man, we need to give uh, Duck Hunt a try. Nah, come on, Tio's, where are you at? Okay, like, and I'm just sitting there, like, and I was always, always like wondering, like, man, are there any other stages that would have that song? What is he? Like, Scoople's like so. actually just uh, using that shine. Oh god, yeah, he said we're we're getting rid of all this, man. He's like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not messing around anymore. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let Goblin do the fighting. I'm just gonna reflect everything. Uh -huh. All right, so everybody is somebody's upsetting me. Who's upsetting me right now? Robin is Robin yellow. Why? Uh, yes. I'm just sitting here, I'm just like... I, I think he's changed skins every single game. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. As soon as this, as soon as this match would have started, but hey, bro, now we're going back. Not dealing with this. Ooh. Wow, oh, actually wow. died to that. The combination of the jab and the nair was enough. Oof. All right, we have Snoofle uh, trying to get rid of this Robin here. Yeah, he was threatening that back here for yeah. such a long time. Really good, uh, really good patience. Really, uh, Sally looked like Robin, not able to do too much with uh, the lack of mobility from the character. Nice back to the stage with the L1. Ooh, that's some good healing. Yeah. And it's really good that that, that hitbox comes out while he's doing that, uh, able to protect himself when the teammates are trying to come in and punish him for it. Oh, gets the spike off the, the double turn up. Back, that's going to be just strong enough. I mean, once again, Snoople losing his stock very early. Rocket on the shield. And uh, Panda Bear still yet to lose his uh, first stock. Just you know, thugging around with his 110. Shooting up the block. Ooh. Oh, okay. There uh, goes some friendly fire there. But it doesn't matter because Snoople's almost dead. Okay. Ooh. Just gets the weak hit there. Uh, I was kind of expecting the forward smash, but probably didn't want to commit to it on stage with, uh, with Goblin still running around. But that's going to be a conversion from the arc fire. And uh, man, Bear still not killing Villager. Panda Bear still hanging on to his first stock. Oh no. All right, Got the spot dodge. Go. Good stuff from Snoople. Yeah, Snoople's. Realizing his, oof, Snoople realized his teammate was in trouble. He went over there, didn't get a hit, but just being in the presence of Panda Bear allowed uh, Goblin to make it back to the stage. All right, wow, and just like that, we're uh, down to one stock apiece. But the Sensor are looking really good oh, for yeah. the blue team right now. At least if they can uh, take the stock off Goblin without Snoople kind of getting in the way of things. Yeah, was, yeah, looking at the match being this close is actually kind of crazy just, just because of the way uh, things were going on early yeah. on. But and just like that. Things going in uh, blue team's favor here. Yeah, Snoople knows what he wants to do. He wants to abuse his Robin. Oh, there. Board, bro. He's definitely sensing that. Oh. oh no, the Lloyd rocket. <laughs> okay, he's still gonna make it back. Yeah, I thought recovery. he was gonna get back here into the blast zone. Right. Like the Lloyd rocket comes in with the Nair. Okay, Ooh, okay. nice, solid. Good dash attack. He was done a really good job of just you know getting some damage, getting out. Oh, uh -oh. oh wow. I think that uh, that axe was uh, friendly fire and took yeah. the stock. Let's see if Snoople can make the comeback here. I'm really keep expecting him to pocket the Lloyd Rocket on the way back after yeah. he's reflected. I'm actually very surprised I haven't been seeing that. 
He said, I don't need no extra Lloyd Rocket, man. He's an honest villager, man. I mean, if that got reflected, it would probably just end his stock immediately. Oh, yeah. He doesn't want to take that risk. Okay. We got the tree coming out. And there's so much stuff that villager can just put in front of him and not have to worry about laser. Oh, gosh. All right. Up air through the stage. With the graph here, things are going in Snoople's favor at the moment. In there, it's Snoople off the stage. Good still, shine stall. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit too slow on the uh, the trigger there with the back air. But oh, there was too much. There was the forward air and there was the Lloyd rocket, yeah. and he just ended up uh, going right into it. I think that's gonna be it. Three one for uh, for Blue Team. Panda Bear moving on.